On September 30th, 1972, history was in the making at Three River Stadium. A sparse crowd of more than 13,000 were in attendance. Here are a few of their stories. Everybody said it. They want Bobby to get that big number 3,000. Matlack on the 0-1. Bobby hit the side. Yeah. 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 There she is. place lit up like a firecracker. It almost sounded like thunder. And you're just jumping up and down, standing, cheering. Everybody in the place was just going absolutely crazy. As he hits it, I'm going down the first base box with a uh, case of Iron City on my hit left hip. And then I, I do this, all right, Roberto, Roberto, way to go. We were so ecstatic because we got to see it. We got to see the 3,000 hit. During the summer of 72, Roberto was by himself signing autographs. I wanted to reload my Iron City, but I had to say hello to Roberto. I said to him, como esta Roberto hoy? And he looked at me, bien y tu? Roberto had these piercing eyes where he could isolate everything around him and only focus on you. A couple games later, I would be down selling Iron City down the first base box, and he looked over at me and he kind of he kind of tipped his head cap a little bit just to say hello. He treated me as an equal, even though I was a beer vendor. The most powerful lesson I probably have had in my life. So I have my scorebook here from the 3000 hit game and he struck out the first time. So he came up in the fourth inning and you're just hoping uh, he could he could get the hit and uh, it, it, it happened. It just uh, uh, hit a beautiful double into the gap. And you knew it clearly from when he hit it, it was it was a hit. You know, the man, it, it looked so regal standing at second base and looking, looking, you know, just uh, like a god almost, a Greek god that people described him as. We were very excited going down to the stadium. My mother dragged my two older brothers and I uh, down there with a um, very large movie camera in tote, um, about the size of a cinder block. In fact, I remember her standing there with this big thing, trying to keep it steady. Here comes the big moment, fourth inning, crack. She stood up, uh, making sure nobody was in front of her to block the view. When she was finished, I could see this worried look on her face, as I remember it, that like, oh, I really hope that I caught that. I don't know if my mother knew at the time that she was recording history in some sense, uh, but I think the look on her face, like she knew that this was something to save her. I hold on to the memory. Uh, it, it's probably second to my children and my wife, like my f favorite memory. It was with my mom who's no longer here, so that makes it extremely special.